Shalom, brothers and sisters. How are you on this lovely day? Mm. Got a song now, right? Yeah. So I was just uh, over here thinking, you know, like how wonderful is our Elohim? Oh, yes. Amazing. So there's these patterns of righteousness that Yahuwah, Yorhewah, Yehovah has set for his children. You know, the world that is not meant to understand because they stay in paganism, so they won't be able to understand unless they have Yahushua HaMashiach and they start coming out of the ways of the world. And that is Pesach. Passover and it's coming up and it is a wonderful time for introspection and to you know get get the stuff out of your beard you know get all that the, the food of the world out of your beard and start feeding with the word of Yahuwah that you know man shall not live on bread alone but on every word that proceeds from the mouth of Yahuwah your hey wah hey and it's amazing how we are able to start understanding these things even when we are um, still in bondage and we start understanding these things so that we could come out of the the bondage of false doctrines and you can only discern false doctrine if you understand the Torah if you start feeding yourself with the word of Yah and and the Torah is Yahushua HaMashiach made flesh. So we are just so grateful. And what I wanted to look at, you know, real quick, you know, is uh, um, how, how, how um, the pattern of righteousness that Yah put for us to learn him, Yosef, um, Mashiach ben Yosef, right? So Mashiach came as a servant. I mean, Joseph has a lot of similarities. I wrote some. I'm trying to write this little study, right? So I'm just going to. So they, they, they both are shepherds, right? That's in Genesis 37 and 2. That's Yosef and Yahushua. Matthew uh, 26, 31. John 10, 11. You know this, right? So it's very good to, you know, go over the, the the these patterns of righteousness, and this is why we study the Torah so that we could uh, see Hamashiach, and he's everywhere. So, but the the whole the whole thing is that you know um, Joseph he was a uh, sold by his brothers into slavery, right? Both Joseph and Yahweh. So, uh, <laughs> all right. So both, hold on, hold on. First things first. Both Yosef and Yahushua were both sent by his father um, to his brothers, right? That's in Genesis 37, 13, and 18 to 20. This is uh, Yosef when he's sent to his brothers. And and um, Yahushua, he was sent to his brothers. And both are, excuse me, and, you know, both, <laughs> they're both sent to his brothers, and it is amazing. So, <clears throat> come on. Well, I mean, there's so much that, you know, okay, both. Or somebody, I'm sorry. So, and and that's, um, and, and Yahushua was sent to his brothers in John 7. Oh, man. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> all right. Well, I moved the thing, so now I'm looking for it. Yeah, patience is a virtue that we get to practice often until it's perfected, right? 
All right, so Joseph was sent to his brother, to his brothers, and Yehuda was sent by his father to Israel, right? And in Matthew 21, 37 to 38, this is Yehusha, and Mark 12, 6 to 7, Luke 20, 13 to 15, John 5, 23. So they were sent for a purpose to save them, right? So Joseph was sent, um, was um, put in a dungeon, right? He was put in a hole, you know? And uh, Yahushua was also, you know, he went to to uh, take the keys off of his desk, right? So praise Yah for all, all, all these amazing things that we, these patterns that we get to see over and over. And there's a lot more, but for the sake of um, the point that I want to make in this little study is that, <clears throat> that, check this out, even, all right, the, this is a Craig, this is a study by a brother that's really amazing, you know, so check it out, the death of Joseph and Yahushua, this is Yahushua, this is Joshua, all right, son of Nun, in the next example of inspired numerology, we will see, we see the death age of two men of faith, both Yosef and Yehoshua died at the age of 110. This is significant since Tehillim, Psalms 110, pertains to the Melchizedek priesthood. Yosef and Yehoshua lived and died at the age of 10, 110, many centuries before Tehillim 110, the Helene 110, was ever written in relation to the Melchizedek priesthood. And much evidence shows both men and were prophetic types of Mashiach. And both men fulfilled various aspects of Melchizedek priesthood within that priesthood. Isn't that amazing? When I read that, I thought I was like, whoa, what a cool connection, right? So if we read um, Psalms 110, we start understanding who our Kohen Hagadol is, who the, the <clears throat> high priest of, of Hamashiach, of Yahuwah are, right? Because we are priests and kings for Yahuwah. And our high priest, Yahushua Hamashiach. Flip into the scriptures. Hallelujah. Flip. That's one of the things that you could do that is always fun is flip through the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? So check it out. But when you get to the verses, that's where the things just start happening, right? So Psalms 110, how amazing is this? A Psalm of Dawood, right? The David. David. All right. Yahuwah said to Yahuwah. Incredible. If you look at it up in the Hebrew and you start seeing like what Yahuwah said to Yahuwah. So they're like, so, all right. Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. So a thing that I heard that they're both Yahuwah beings, right? Echad completely because they got the same spirit. Hallelujah. You know, uh, it just makes me dance because. Us brothers and sisters have received Yahushua Hamashiach as our um, redemption, as our debt that we ha all owed for transgressing, for iniquity, for and He His blood has restored all things back to Himself, back to Yahuwah. So until I make your enemies a foot, sit on my right hand. Until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. Yahuwah sent your mighty scepter out of Zion. Rule in the midst of your enemies. Uh, your people volunteer in the day of your might. In the splendor of Kodeshah. So the partner, right? From the womb. From the morning, you have the dew of your youth. 
Yahuwah has sworn and does not relent. Remember when uh, in Genesis 12, he swore to Abraham by his name. Um, he, he, made that, he swore that he was going to increase his seed and that his seed was going to overcome that he was going to was going to step on the enemy on the snake's head right but his but it says that you um the the seed is going to step on the enemy's head uh, i should have been a little bit more prepared but um but it was going to get it was going to bite his heel right well guess what yahushua defeated the enemy in when he gave him his life for his sheep, for his people that follow him, that he, that because he's the 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 the, sh the good shepherd. Okay, so um, you are a Kohen forever, a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. So thanks to Yahuwah, our Kohen Hagadol, we volunteer as P um, we volunteer in the day of your might. We volunteer in the day of Yahushua's might, and we become Kohen Hagadol forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. This is king of righteousness. So he, he wanted a kingdom of priests, right? Well, brothers and sisters, let me tell you that we are a kingdom of priests, not because of my righteousness, praise Yah, right? But because he loved us first, and he sent his beloved son into the the world, not to condemn the world, but to save the world through through him, right? So all that receive him, a word receiving Yahuwah. So this is amazing, amazing. I mean, there's so many there's so many verses that say all that, but I didn't really look them up yet. Well, I mean, they're in my, they're in my heart. Bing. <laughs> so okay. Yahuwah at your right hand shall smite sovereigns in the day of his wrath. He judges among the nations. He shall fill with dead bodies. He shall crush the head over the mighty earth. He drinks of the stream by the wayside. Therefore, he lifts up the head. Well, He's lifting up the head of the Malchizedek priesthood, and that is Yahushua HaMashiach. He is the head. We are the body. Come on. And, and it's so amazing, all these wonderful uh, patterns of righteousness that he said before us. This is one of, of a billion, you know, or, or of infinity, because, you know what I'm saying? So it goes on. And the deeper you, the, the, he, so, so many things I want to say. Hallelujah. But, so. Remember um, at the Tower of Babel when he gave them into the, their heart's desire, and their heart's desire wasn't good at all, right? So he gave them 70 languages, and they all went to do their heart's desire, and it was to go after other mighty ones, to set up uh, idols in, in the Shammai. And it was a whole bunch of nonsense, right? You know. Well, so then he chose Abraham, right? And he, um, when when Abraham uh, burned the house of his father's idols, right? Because his father was an idol maker, you know, for for Nimrod, right? That's so it's just so deep, right? But so Abraham was showing righteousness. He was showing that he didn't want this nonsense of of the the world. He he knew that there that the you know the Elohim of all things that created all things because people have started worshiping things that are created well not not Israel Israel uh, worships that the Elohim that created all things and that is yod heh wah -He, as he revealed himself to Moshe and Moshe uh, is, a, is, a, is a Mashiach right and that means anointed one well the people couldn't hear the voice I mean, they, they were given the covenant at, in in Exodus 20. And then, then all of a sudden, they're like, oh, this is too much. I mean, this is what I've heard from um, people that know the languages. And, uh, I, you know, I think it's better than to know the, the thing, to study from people that, that study the language of Hebrew. 
because they get deep revelation from Yahuwah because he he chose Hebrew, the create the language that created all things, that it was hidden at the Tower of Babel, but then he re he gave it back to Moshe, right, to start to start sh revealing himself to him. Oh no, to to Abraham, excuse me, to Abraham, and Abraham. Abraham started uh, studying the books of his fathers that were written in Hebrew, and he studied with Noah and Shem. I mean, th this is in the Book of Jubilees and maybe Jasher. But, you know, there's these things are just amazing because now that we understand that we have to go back to the name, because the name above all names is Yod He Wah He, written in. In Hebrew, Paleo Hebrew, and then modern Hebrew. Oh, hold on. Yeah, hallelujah. Wonderful music, Bills of Israel, Paradise, and you follow Yod Hey Wah Hey. And uh, it's right there. Yeah. Yod Hey Wah Hey. You know? <laughs> so, the, the thing is that because we are seeking, those who thirst and hunger for righteousness shall be filled. And because he chose to reveal himself, here we go, yod he -Wah -He behind me, yod he -Wah -He and Paleo, that means ham behold, male behold, right? And the, the name of Yah is yod he so it's what, what, Yah was, was, what Yah was saying, I'm going to reveal my hand, right? The hand of revelation, the hand, behold the hand, so... When Yah revealed the hand, his hand, his hand, then people started, people with, with, uh, that were so, like the Pharisees that were, they were empowered, right? They were all, yeah, you know, and, uh, they, they didn't like, um, that the, the glory was given to his, the rightful owner, right? So it's like the, the parable of, of um, there was a field, and he sent his son, and the master sent his son to get the the wages of the field. But they they first day he sent servants and they killed them. The people of the field killed them. So the workers or the people that had that were in the field they started, you know, they killed them because they wanted to keep their the the field and the glory. So. Then he sends his son, and they kill him too. Well, this is Yahushua that that has given himself up. He he put he laid his life down. So you know, the it, he wasn't it wasn't taken because he could have easily destroyed everybody, right? But he gave him his life down so that we could have this overcoming power in in the ruach. That's why. He went back to the Father and he sent his, the Helper, which is the Ruach HaKodesh, the set of our spirit. So then when we start having the set of our spirit move in us, it'll lead us. And it led, it led um, a lot of brothers and sisters to the Hebrew, Hebraic um, understanding of the scriptures. And this is what, this is where we come start understanding of another priesthood because the people that were empowered they wanted to keep their the glory and this is why um they want to make a temple does yah said in his word he says in his word um i should have looked up all these scriptures but it's just so many and he said in his word that uh it's it's uh to obey me, you could do it right now. It's not across the way that you have to um, go look. You know, it's not it's not up in the Shamayim, but it's in your mouth. So if you're reading that, guess what you're reading? You're reading Torah. See, and this is what it's in in our in our mouth. It's the word of truth that it comes from Him. So we don't have to build no temple because if we could do it, if we could obey Him right now, that means that Hamashiach has brought us back. To a covenant right standing with Yahuwah. And, and the Spirit will give you the, the, the grace, will give you the, the empowerment to start heeding these, these uh, word, His words and to make them your own by living them. And then you start getting all these fruits of the Spirit. And that's how 
you know a man by his fruit. So if you know a man by his fruit, if they're not teaching you um, to repent and come back to you, well, we have to all repent because we all went astray, right? And once we repent, means to to turn back to his word, right? Because what a lot of people are repenting and they just turn around in circles, and then all of a sudden they start walking another way, and you're like, hold on, there's wide as the road to destruction, but narrow and few will find the road to, and hard pressed is the road to um, salvation, right? So what I get out of that is that the Melchizedek order will empower you to stop, to stop going down all these other avenues and to start coming back into the covenant. And uh, Shabbat, I mean, the, the letter Dalit is four in Hebrew, four. Four uh, is the door, right? Dalit is like a door. And Yahushua said, I am the door. So, and then he said, I am the Shabbat, right? I am the, the, the king of Shabbat. The, so when we start keeping Shabbat, we're actually declaring and being set apart by Yahuwah himself, by Yahushua himself, to, hallelujah, to, um, to start understanding the things that, that he wants to reveal to his children. And it's amazing. And Yah is incredible. And I know he's going to empower you as much as he's empowering all our brothers and sisters in this time. Hallelujah. Yah Baruch. Shalom.